Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all to my English class. Before we start the class, write today's date. Today is ten five twenty two. And on the red line, you can write worksheet. Leave the first line. Start from the second line, children. And what is our today's question for the worksheet? Write along with me. Fail in the blanks. Check out the spelling, children. B L A N K S. Fill in the blanks using U S I N G using has slash have. So the first sentence for this question is number one. Mona. Dash won a prize. Okay. So here you have to fill in either with has or have. So before we fill the blank, let's discuss when do we use has and when do we use have. So the first one has. When do we use has? Children, we use has with a singular noun. That is when we speak about one person or thing. Okay, and we use have h a v e have with a plural noun. That is more than one person. It can be two, three, four, ten, any in number, but more than one person or thing. Okay. Now check out the first one is Mona won a prize. So who won a prize? Mona. That is the name of a girl. How many Mona is here? Only one. Mona is the name of a girl. Okay. So we are talking about singular person Mona. So what are we going to use here? Yes, you got it right. We will write here has. Write along with me, children. H A S has. Mona has won a prize. Okay. Check out the second sentence. Number two, the. Boys, B O Y S, boys. The boys dash S H O R T, short H A I R hair. The boys dash short hair. Hair. Now, what are we talking about? We are talking about the boys. And how many are they in number? Boys. When we write s, it is plural. That is more than one. So we will use here h a v e have. That's correct. Write it down along with me. H a v e have. This is so the sentence will be the boys have short hair. Now come to number three, and the third one is. The dog, the dog, dog, dash, a bone, b o n e bone, in its mouth, m o u t h mouth. Full stop. The dog. Dash a bone in its mouth. So we have to fill in here 
has or have. When do we fill? Has when we are talking about singular person or thing. And have when we talk about plural person or thing that is more than one. Plural noun, right? So, here the dog is given. The dog. So, how many dogs are there in number? Only one. So, we are going to write here. H A S has. Now, read the sentence along with me, children. The dog has a bone in its mouth. Now, come to number four. Fourth one is the P O L I C E policeman M A N man the policeman dash caught C A U G H T check out the spelling again C A U G H T caught caught is a past tense of catch catch caught Catch caught. Okay. The policeman dash caught the thief. T H I E F thief. Now again we have to check out. We have to fill has or have. To know this we have to check whether what we are talking about is singular or plural. Here it is written the policeman. So how many policemen are there? Only one. So we will write here has. H A S has. Read the sentence with me, children. The policeman for has caught the thief. Once again, the policeman has caught the thief. Now we come to number five. Number five is the cow C O W S the cow dash eaten E A T E N Eaten the grass. G R A double -S, S. Grass. Full stop. After grass, full stop. The cows dash eaten the grass. Now we are talking about the cows, which is plural in number. See, S is written over there. That means there are more than one cow. So we will write here H A V E have. The cow. Have eaten the grass. Okay. So, can we repeat all these five of them together, children? Repeat after me. Fill in the blanks using has or have. Mona has won a prize. Once again, Mona has. Won a prize. Second one, the boys have short hair. The boys have short hair. The dog has a bone in its mouth. The dog has a bone. In its mouth. The fourth one is the policeman has caught the thief. The policeman has caught the thief. Now come to number five. The cows have eaten the grass. The cows have Eaten the grass. Okay, so this was all for today, children. We will continue this tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Thank
थैंक यू